from Van Nuys, California. His career record, 18, three and one, with 15 KOs. Here is Rocky Shakespeare, Shakespeare. And his opponent in the blue corner, wearing blue drums trimmed with white. He weighed in at 160 pounds from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. His career record, 20 wins, four losses, with 16 knockouts. Here he is, let's hear it for Curtis Parker. Parker, 10 rounds. And Curtis Parker, a well-tested middleweight, appeared to be on his way to the upper echelon, but he lost four significant fights along the way. Dwight Davidson beat him, Wilfred Simeon, and Mustafa Hamsho doing it on two occasions. And both of those uh, occasions, all four fights were on split decisions, highly questionable judgment calls one way or another, but he kept losing. And that's, of course, the prime sin. Round one. All right, scheduled for 10, Curtis Parker on the left, and Rocky Shakespeare on the right. Shakespeare out of Van Nuys, California, born in Jamaica. Record of 18 and three, one draw. He's knocked out 15. All three defeats, split decisions, and both landing as we open up. Rocky landing some bombs on Curtis. Curtis shook his head a little bit as if to shake the cobwebs out. Very fast start for Shakespeare. Curtis needs this fight to stay in contention. He's got to start fighting his way back up. There is a lot of work for Curtis Parker up there if he can start his climb upward. Curtis Parker, very aggressive, not stop in the opening bell, although he's been stunned by Shakespeare. Shakespeare can bang, and he's, uh, he's been stunning. Uh, Curtis Parker in his first part. Of course, Curtis has got some kind of chin, as we saw with Dwight Davidson. Bombed him for 10 rounds and couldn't do anything with him. To stop him, just teed off on him and couldn't do anything with him. He is fighting right now. He's been training with uh, Dwight Rex, the light heavyweight champion, whom uh, we will have an opportunity to see on the uh, 20th of November in our prime time date. A title fight with Davis. And certainly some of his style has rubbed off. He's right in front of him, aggressively pounding the body. Halfway through, round one. Good action. Curtis Parker coming in at 20 and 4, 16 by knockout, 23 years old, out of Philadelphia, following up on an outstanding amateur career. Curtis Parker has a strange thing. He looks right at, at the man's uh, midsection or uh, chest. He doesn't look at his face. And he's certainly pounding away right there at the midsection. Good left hand by Parker. Parker landing the left hook. Shakespeare's been guilty two or three times of coming back with a punch and with the back of his glove. Backhanding. That's uh, illegal and he's going to draw a warning. Oh, good right hand by Shakespeare. Another good right hand. Oh, Rocky is another good hook by Rocky. Surprising opening round for Rocky Shakespeare. Thank Curtis you. Parker Stop usually it. carries the action at the start. His style has been described as a miniature Joe Frazier, but Shakespeare opening up impressively. And this is round two, Curtis Parker out to meet up with Rocky Shakespeare. In the corner of Curtis Parker, he was told, continue to maintain the pace, you're doing well. In fact, they feel that Shakespeare's legs are giving out. And Quinzel McCall told Parker, keep going to the body. If he keeps going to the body, Rocky's legs will go out. I don't see that he's, that uh, you could say that he went out in the first round, though. He, he had a good, brisk first round, although he lost it. He certainly had a brisk first round. Well, Parker and McCall apparently felt they saw something in the later portion of that first round, and now Shakespeare looking to cover up. Very quick start. 
for Rocky Shakespeare out of Van Nuys, California, but not the same boxer in the second round. No, no, he's really getting hammered now. He ran out of steam and he takes a right hand for Parker. And Shakespeare is hurt. Curtis Parker looking to end it. Shakespeare coming up, he's helpless. Shakespeare's got to fight back. If not, they'll stop it. He did. Paul Bentley stopping the fight. assessment between rounds they saw that Shakespeare despite the fast start had nothing in the latter portion of the first round. They sure hit that right on the button because he came out a completely different fighter as you pointed out it was just a different guy came out of that corner. So Curtis Parker extends his record to 21 and 4 17 by knockout as he stops Rocky Shakespeare in round two. Here's that action. You can see the nonstop style of Curtis Parker. Once he gets you in trouble, he is just ruthless. Now, he's got him in the corner. Right between those gloves. Punches are landing right on the button. Venti right on top of the case because he knows that he can get hurt. Shakespeare is in trouble here. Look at the way this veteran goes. Under, over, uppercuts between the gloves, straight right hand between the glove hooks. Just Parker's thrown everything in the arm of Ontario. And Benny wisely stops it. So for Curtis Parker, this has to be considered a tune-up. What uh, Curtis needs is a victory over a significant opponent. We mentioned that he's lost four times. White Davidson beat him, Wilfred Sipion, Mustafa Hamshow twice. And if Parker is to receive consideration for what could be an important fight, he must beat a significant uh, opponent. I, I think the, the five young kids coming up, we keep alluding to any one of them, whether it's uh, Ramos or whether it's uh, Schuler or Superbad Mays or Kinchin, any of those um, are suitable opponents right now because this is he is now in the, in the realm of being a veteran tried and tested in the fires and if you can get past Curtis Parker you are really there so Curtis Parker stopping Lucky Shakespeare and one 